grabs my review, my personal opinions of it, and watch to the end. I'll tell you a little secret on that course that could make it a lot easier. And it's not cheating either. Okay. Now, the personally, when I looked at my grabs, which I probably should look at the description of each course before taking it, because this course was easy. When I I only read the title of it before registering for it, which was my mistake. However, basically the course is my personal opinion or thoughts before taking it just by the title. I was like, okay, my grabs and it's micro applications on computer. I'm like, okay, that would be cool. I'm learning programming. Instead, I'm learning Microsoft uh, products, which are micro apps too, by definition. Um, that's my weirdness. And this course, you're only learning four products, which are very, 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 very tedious. Okay, you're learning Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, which I never heard of until this course, and then PowerPoint, which I hopefully everyone uses those, which except for Access, the three, Personally, Google has a uh, rip-off version of them. I'll say it like that. Um, and personally, throughout the course, the purpose for each of them, in my opinion of each, was docs, was how to create a flyer. Um, I kind of wish they kind of would went more in depth on docs on how to create, using it to create paper, um, but that's, basically a flyer, how to use it for a flyer. Excel is personally very useful. I personally think that that should have been even bigger, even though that was the hardest part of the course, because that one allows you to learn how to create a budget. How do you basically, if you're going to do a spreadsheet with a lot of math in it, that you can actually use the formula that will automatically create the numbers for you, which is very useful. I love that. But again, Excel, budgeting. That's how I think of it. Now, Access was basically how to create a database and how to create like a interchangeable unit, which Access, you could even import um, Excel files into it to create a uber file. This part of it personally should have been a little bit bigger because out of the four modules, Excel was the biggest. Second one was um, Docs and then PowerPoint and then Access was almost non-existent. It was very short, which for me, not knowing anything, it kind of helped. PowerPoint. I've done PowerPoint presentations. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know that I did public speaking and did a PowerPoint multiple times. So I'm very familiar with PowerPoint, very easy. Now what made it difficult was each of the assignments, you would have a textbook and it would take about 30 pages to go through, sometimes less. Some of the projects, it was like 10 pages of each individual step. And if you're like me, that knows the shortcuts, if you don't do it the way they do it and do the shortcuts, they'll ding you for it. Um, the, my course, they gave you three shots, then your final grade. So what was annoying for me, which they fixed it, thank God, um, was the textbook that I was using, the, which was the newest one was two years out of date. So I'd be doing a project, looking through the book and doing it right, absolutely right. And then I submit the project and it would say, oh, you forgot all of these. And then I'd go over the book and be like, it's not even saying in the book, but the program itself was updated beforehand. So if you're that type of person that's like gets hundreds on the first try and then sees that you don't get 100 instantly, don't worry, it's the program's fault. Um, and per
personally this course, when should you take it? I personally believe you should take it either the very first semester you go in college or save it for summer because it was very easy to do, very simple, and that that's that's my recommendation. Either save it for summer to basically do a hard course and then that is easy one to fill it up a little bit more or yeah. Um, and then personally, should you take it online versus class? If you don't know how to turn on a computer, take it in class. They, they'll have a class computer there for you and a professor that will help you through it. Um, if you are very educated in computers and also with this course, you have to use a Microsoft um, operating system. If you're using like an Apple operating system, even if you use like the, like the converter type thing, it's not going to work right. Use a app, not Apple, Microsoft uh, operating system with this. If you don't have a Microsoft computer at home, again, go to the take in class and or um, a little quick thing you could do is take it online. And if your library at your college has a student center, have the tutors help you. Every single tutor in my college and many other colleges I've talked to people from, all have a learning center which will have someone there that knows this program inside and out. Um, it's very tedious. Is it hard per se? Not really. You will definitely learn how to, um, a shortcut would be basically making uh, your computer having a split screen, which would be you're doing your project on this side and your online textbook would be on this side and just the top of the icon on the computer, click it, drag it to like the left. It should make like this visible line there. You drop and it basically puts it into a uh, perfectly side. And then if you have two um, systems open, it will automatically like make it split screen. Versus back in when I was like 10 years old, I would just shorten the screen and move it to the sides without knowing that. Um, yeah, so you'll be doing that a lot. Now, like I said, the little quick hack that I learned, aside from that, the split screen thing, you'd be doing that a lot, um, would be that you, you definitely have to talk to your professor first, but personally, I would, if I was going to take that class again, I would do that, hands down, was this class, they give you a two week free trial, which is, the whole course is open to you, okay? Take those two weeks, complete everything on the course, submit them all, you're done with the course in two weeks and you don't have to pay the, I don't wanna say it, a lot of money. Cause you're having to buy a textbook and the access code, which is like, oh. So personally, if you can do it in two weeks, do it in two weeks. Um, personally, when I took it, I was being kind of lazy. I had two other courses. I was taking three in total, which was public speaking, my grabs, and intro philosophy. I love those courses. This one, I personally didn't like that much. And very, very end, I straight up asked the professor, I'm like, can I just, these projects are easy for me. Can I just straight up um, work ahead and just some early? And he was like, absolutely. So I got done with the course like a month early. <laughs> and that doesn't show that I'm very smart, it just shows that this course is very easy. Um, and like I said, if you're already kinda comfortable with computers, understand the basics of computers, take it online because Classroom doesn't, you don't need it unless you're really struggling in it. And even then, if you have time to go to the library learning center, they, they can help you out on the programs. Um, there was like only one time that I was feeling like I couldn't read English on a X 
Excel project. That I straight up asked the tutor for help. Um, but that was one out of four programs and it was one out of like, I think they have you do like five projects per um, application. But that's pretty much it about my review. Um, do me a favor, comment below. If you've taken this course, comment below on what you believe to be a good shortcut for this course and your thoughts of it. Would you want to take it online versus in classroom? Give me your pros and cons. And for someone who's new, please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making lots of videos on basically the courses I'm going through, a little bit of vlogs on my uh, college life here. And personally, I'm dressed up a bit not because of the video here, but I'm actually a student worker as well. Um, but personally, this course is just too easy. They, they are, I personally think they should have went more in depth on um, Excel to make it for, okay, this is how I can budget my life. Um, and that, that should have been part of it, but it wasn't there. Access, very short. Um, you'd have to take another probably one or two classes to really get a deep understanding of Excel or not Excel, access um, because personally it was just too short for me. Anyways, have a good day. Please subscribe to my channel, comment below, like the video, and share it with someone who's thinking of uh, taking this course. Thank you very much.